Hello everybody and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg and today we are going to be having a look at the wheat futures. So a little bit of background on the wheat on wheat in recent times is that it largely saw a sharp increase due to the Russia and Ukraine crisis with both of those countries being substantial substantial exporters of the commodity. And with the crisis brought economic sanctions and disruptions to the supply chain, which as we can see made the prices shoot up in value. And as we will just take a look at that weekly chart just to get a bit of a better idea, uh, we can see it was a pretty fast, um, it was a pretty fast, we'll just add the volume there so we get a look at that. It was a pretty sharp spike to the top and then it was a pretty quick run down back to the bottom. So it was a real kind of pump situation in the futures. And as we have a look now at the daily, we can see we had a period of consolidation just after that initial spike, you know, kind of like a looks. it was looking like a wedge, um, but we weren't able to hold that wedge and we broke through, broke through the 50 period moving average and the price is now broken through that 200 period average. And even closer, if we have a look, we're almost looking at this death cross where we have that, um, you know, 50 period moving average crossing below the 200 period moving average. So why has this been happening? Well, for one, the supply chains have been opening up again, specifically with the Ukraine in the last few weeks starting to have the supply chains for grain and wheat open up again. And this has released a lot of that initial demand, uh, supply pressure. So the question now remains is, well, what comes next? So as we can see, we've got, we're in this period of, or this area of support. And are we going to be able to hold here? Well, it's hard to say. We've got declining volume, which may indicate that the selling is starting to dry up. And we've also, as I stated, passed through this 200 period moving average, which is acting as that long term kind of support or mean. So it wouldn't surprise me to see it bounce around here a little bit, the price, bounce around, bounce around, maybe break through, and then go back towards that 200 period moving average. Alternatively, if supply pressures ease even further, we may fall back further down and go towards a little bit lower, perhaps at, let's just have a look. We may fall to $700 or even um, we might even fall to $600. But for now, we are just waiting to see if we're going to be able to hold this, peer, this little um, base here or we're going to break above or break down. There you go, guys. Thanks for listening and good luck trading.